Hi, this is Anna. Today I'm going to be doing a demo of a watercolor cat. I'm going to be using bold colors and I'm going to be dripping them together in order to make a watercolor effect for a full face cat design. I'm loading some global light yellow to do some of the bright highlights in the design. I'm just going to highlight my forehead and my cheeks and I'm using a one inch brush. This is a bolt one inch brush. Um, I'm using one inch brush just to cover surface area a lot faster. I'm going to get some red out of here. We'll get some global red and I'm going to put a little boldness. I'm going to pop some red around here, here, a little bit up and the inside of the nose. So it's looking really patchworky. All right, now I'm going to grab a little magenta out of the Maui cake. And I'm going to fill in some gaps with magenta. I'm going to do a magenta ear on this side over there and a magenta ear over here. And I'll add some magenta on the edge of that orange and a little bit in this corner. All right, so I'm going to take some yellow and I'm going to fill in a couple extra spots. I'm going to do the outside of this ear. I'm going to do a little bit in here, a little over the edge. And then I'm going to put some pinks and purples on my nose. And I need to do the muzzle. And then once I have this whole patchwork and the muzzle on, I'm going to bleed the colors together. So I'm going to put some white on top of my lip. Like a nice, lovely muzzle. All right, and then I wanted to just sneak a little teal on top of this blue so when I bleed it, it makes a really strong drip. And put a little highlight blue above my eyes. All right, and then you can also just shade the edges of the muzzle. I'm gonna look real quick and make sure that I'm looking symmetrical in the mirror here. Okay, all right, so. Now the fun part comes. I'm getting ready. I have a little blue on my lip just to get things started. Now all I'm going to do is take a wet sponge and dab the colors together. Now I just pressed it in there. And you want to be sure that you're not pressing colors that are going to turn into brown onto your face. So you can rinse it out every now and then, but you don't want to put a orange sponge on your blue or blue right on your orange or it's going to make brown. So I'm rotating it and then you just press it and the colors start to bleed together. And now for extra fun, if you want to do some super bleeding, I'm going to add some light green on this brush with a little teal and I'm just going to drip it in there. So you're going to get a nice drip and I'm going to try some on this side too. And then if you just get it really, really wet enough, you'll get a good drip going on. So if it doesn't start to drip, you can tilt the kid's face and put a little bit of extra water and wait for that drip to fall. And sometimes you can guide the drip. The drip wants a little path. So if it's not dripping, sometimes you just need to start a little path down and then it will go for it all by itself. All right, for the line work, I'm gonna use a bolt number two round. This is perfect for doing really thin lines and I'm going to do thin to thick lines all the way around and leave some gaps, but I'm going to go very thin to thick so it looks, it doesn't look too heavy or too expected. I want it to be kind of wild. So I'm dragging the tip and then just dropping it to make a thick kind of teardrop in, in the ear, I'll make a little hook and pull some hairs out of there. So I've got one cat ear done. Oh, this drip really went wild. 
<laughs> if your drips go too wild, you can always catch them with a sponge. All right, there we go. And then a little up and a little up. And I'm gonna put a little teardroppy edge over here. And then I'm gonna do my nosy nose. I'm just gonna do it all in dark blue to make it quick. And dark blue is a great contrast with all these colors. All right. And then I gotta, I'm gonna kinda go thin to thick. And over here, a little thin to thick, thin to thick. And then up here, I'm gonna put some squiggles coming down, some stripes. Like that. So I just thin to thick it all the way. And then last but not least, or possibly not last, I'm going to just do some quick highlights on those dark spots. Use some global light yellow. And a little highlight on the ear edges so my ears pop. And there, a couple dots. And you can dot over any areas that you're not feeling great about too. You can just put some little polka dots because this is a very unpredictable design. And I'm just going to highlight that drip that I've got going on. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to just add some pixie paint to add some sparkle and texture to this design. It'll look a little more scrapbooky. So I'm using the end of my brush and I'm just gonna dab some pixie paint here and there. You can put it on the outside of the design or if you layer it on thick, you can dab it onto the inside of the design if you're careful not to smear it. So now I've got some cute stars and other accessories for my kitty cat. I hope you like the watercolor cat. You can check out all these great global supplies Pixie Paint at your favorite face paint store. Have a great day.